Flatliner, because roads should not have a pulse. Now more than ever, there is a greater emphasis placed on pavement ride numbers, causing specifications to become tighter. The Flatliner is the cost-effective corrective tool to increase ride numbers on new pavement. The current solution for corrective work on pavement is diamond grinding. This process is extremely expensive, very slow, and leaves a large carbon footprint by creating a hazardous slurry byproduct. It also requires a lot of equipment. This small grinding job in Indiana required one truck and low boy, a service truck, a slurry disposal tanker, and two water trucks. The Flatliner only requires one truck and trailer and a single operator making the operation much more cost-effective. The operator of the flatliner simply runs the machine over the high spot in the road. Another worker can clear the surface off, and then the flatliner can go again just to make sure it doesn't miss anything. Because of its mechanics, it will keep the surface completely level. It can be adapted to any high-flow skid steer. And as you can see in this video clip, the process is much faster. Once the flatliner is done with this particular spot, it can just lift up and move on to the next one. The flatliner is also much faster than the alternative. One particular job in New Jersey, over a hundred high spots were flatlined in a single day. You can also grind dry with the flatliner, eliminating the hazardous slurry byproduct created by diamond grinders and eliminating the need for on-site water trucks and slurry disposal trucks. The flatliner can also be used to smooth transitions on bridge approaches. Here you can see a comparison between diamond grinding, an uncut surface, and a flatline surface. If you take a closer look and examine both, the difference is clear. The flatliner leaves a far superior surface. All pavements will be subject to wear and tear. Many bumps or heaves will rise from adverse weather conditions but often they appear because of the problems below the surface, such as faulty joints and bad bases. The current solution for eliminating bumps or heaves is by milling them with retrofitted motor graders, rubber tire milling machines, and skid steer milling attachment, all of which use standard conical milling tools that fracture the surface and could leave you with something similar to this. Not only do you take care of the problem faster by using the flatliner, but your surface isn't fractured at all. In this image comparison between a milled surface and a flatline surface, you can see the difference. And in a closer view, it's pretty clear which one leaves a superior surface. The flatliner can also be used to remove various types of coatings, including bridge epoxy, floor coating, crack seal, slurry seal, and microsurfacing. The flatliner line remover has a built-in vacuum. The vacuum controls dust and contains the surface grindings in a waste bin, which can be emptied off-site later. The mechanics of the flatliner are what truly separate it from the competition. The flatliner has two pivot points. The first one moves front and back, so the unit can track pavement surface, and the other one rotates left and right. The flatliner also has a gauge wheel that keeps it level with the surface and a hydraulic gutter broom to clean the surface so the gauge wheel is always correct. You also have an adjustable averaging ski that can extend out. Inside is where the real magic happens. This is where the flat tooth technology resides. Flat tooth technology is used to ensure a uniform surface pattern. The bit's design eliminates pavement surface damage 
that is seen with the use of conical bits. The flat tooth technology seen on the Flatliner can also be adapted to other machines. Here is one more image comparison. This shows the difference between diamond grinding, milled surfaces, and a flatlined surface. The Flatliner is a cost-effective solution to correct pavement ride, maintaining pavement smoothness, and removing all types of pavement coatings. It's economical. It's green, and it leaves a superior surface.